Hey, my fitness tribe. Shana here with yet another 40 over 40 workout. 40 minutes of exercise for anybody over 40. For that matter, for anybody at all. But this workout is specifically for us women over 40. All right? But anybody can join. Today's workout, we're going to be working a lot of leg, a lot of butt. We build in the butt, we lift in the butt, we firm in the butt. That's what we're doing today. So we're gonna start by rolling out our joints. I always like to make sure that I don't have a little kink in my joints. They're not hitching on me. <laughs> because sometimes when I first start moving, all you're hearing is crack, 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 crack. I feel like I need WD-40. So I like to just always roll out the joints and let them know exactly what they're gonna be doing. Let me step into frame, roll out your ankles, big circles. You know, when you're younger and you just jump up and start moving, you can get straight into your exercise with very little issues because of it. As you get older, you ain't jumping and going nowhere, right? You have to kind of climatize the body and let the body know what it's going to be doing <laughs> so it can be kind to you. It's okay, we work with what we got. Tummy tight, pull that knee in. Oh yes, focus on something. Let me be your focus for balance. Other side, pull it in. And we are gonna be sweating buckets today. I'm already starting to sweat, right? Just by the little movements, open up nice and wide. Parallel feet, stretch out the back of the hamstrings. Oh yes, 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 yes. I love this stretch. And up. You're gonna give me a figure four, flex the foot, tighten the tummy, open that knee and just gently push your butt back. The IT bands at the side of the leg sometimes can be so tight and this is a good stretch for that. So I know, I personally like to start with static stretches. You're gonna have every trainer tell you something different. But I like to just make sure, because by me doing this, I can tell where is not feeling that wonderful, where is feeling kind of tight on me, and how to pace my workout. <laughs> it's all about figuring out where you're at with your body. All right, so how we're gonna to start today, we're gonna to start with a Heisman. A Heisman is a lateral jog, but it's rhythmical. So you're gonna start one, two, left knee, one, two, right. One, two, left knee, one, two, right. That's all we're doing. Try and bring the knee as high as you're comfortable, and we're going laterally. If it's too much coordination for you, you just wanna jog on the spot, I'll take it too, right? Ain't no shame in that game. So we're gonna start, I'm standing to the left side of the camera, and I'm gonna to travel to my right. Here we go, we're going for one minute. One minute. Ready, this is our warm up. And one, two, left, one, two, right. One, two, left, one, two, right. Breathe, breathe. Belly button to spine, ha, ha. There you go. One, two, left knee, right. Left, right. Lift, lift. Tummy tight, tummy tight, ha, ha. Soft on the landing, soft on the landing, ha, ha. Breathe. We're just getting the heart rate up, warming up the body. Breathe. Keep a steady pace. I think 20 seconds left. You know, my timing happens in my heart. Come on. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wasn't expecting my heart rate to go so high with that first move. Heisman, you're doing proper. Now we're gonna move it into a step up. But because I'm using it for my warm up, I'm not doing a full stand. So it should be okay for my knee. <clears throat> I'm gonna place my knee on the bench and all we're doing is lifting. So don't try and stand all the way up. 
just there. You're engaging all of the leg muscles. Heart rate is gonna go through the roof already, but we're only gonna be doing 20 per leg. Now, if you don't have an actual bench, use a little step stool. If you have a good coffee table, use a coffee table. Anything relatively low, that's what we're using today. And make sure it can manage your weight. Tummy nice and tight. Remember, press through the heel, engage the tummy, we're just lifting the back leg. 20 per leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, here comes a burn, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah, nice burn. Other leg, tummy tight. The sweat is already pelting off of me, mercy. Here we go, slightly hinge. One, two, don't drop your back heel. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes, I feel that. Feels good, but Lord, I feel it. <sighs> now we're going to go into a narrow, narrow foot squat. Still using it as a warm up, no weights in hand, but I want you to get your butt down to touch the bench. A slight hop, a slight hop. We want to stay hinged forward to really activate the glutes. Now, if you can't jump because your knees aren't great or you know what, you're just warming up as we are, so you're not quite ready, just lift the heels slightly, like you're tippy-toeing when you're getting up. Are we ready? Tummy tight. Here we go. One, two, three. Just make your butt kiss the bench. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more to go. Ten. I didn't tell you twenty. Nine. Oops. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes. Towel off the face. That's what we're doing. So, if you've been with me a while now, you'll realize my warm-up is always three exercises, three rounds, I call it a three by three. Yeah, so we have two more of those. Towel off your face. You're gonna sip your water, because you deserve it. So we're taking it now into Round two. So we're going Heisman for one minute. Oh, let's start on this side. Pull that belly button into spine. Really push it now, okay? Bodies are officially warm. <laughs> Tummy tight, soft knees. We're taking it that way. One minute and up. Come on. This is eight seconds, nine, 10. I'm trying to count in my head. Breathe. So keep pulling your belly button to spine. Let's call this 20 seconds. Just work with me. Keep it quick. 30, you're halfway there. Breathe. Pump the arms beside you. Belly button to spine. 40 seconds. We're getting the heart rate up. 50 seconds. Now, do I care if my seconds are off? No, I don't. You just keep moving. And, oh yes, wherever that landed us, 
I'm calling that 60 seconds. Oi, oi, oi. If you ever see my floor, pure sweat splattering everywhere. So attractive. Here we go, control the breathing. Tummy tight, 20 reps per leg. And one, two, three, four. Press through the heel. Activate the glute. I think that's 10, 11. You know, I can't multitask. <laughs> and we're going for 20 on the left leg. Tummy tight. So remember, don't make your heel drop when you tap the floor. It's just a tap. <coughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, tummy tight, six, eight, focus, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. We'll rest at the end of this one. Ready? In five, four, Three, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, speed up, six, why did I slow down? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes, my thighs are on fire. <sighs> Sip your water. <sighs> One more round. Not taking a long break here. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Slow the breathing. <sighs> you know the beauty of this program? Me doing it with you, I fully know what you're feeling. <laughs> you are dead, me are dead with you. You struggling, I'm struggling with you. <sighs> so it's a very real program. We're doing it together, keeping each other accountable. Half of it is accountability. <sighs> Tummy tight, let's start round three, catch our breath again after. Ready? We're going for one minute. And lift. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Don't slow down. Twenty. We're in it together. That's 30. Big. 40. 20 seconds to go. Don't get lazy. 50. Belly button is fine. And 60. Mm-hmm, Lord have mercy. Heart rate is through the roof. Remember I tell you, control your breathing, it will control the heart rate. A true sign of being physically fit is how quickly you can bring your heart rate back down to a normal speed, a normal pattern. Active heart rate recovery. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Straight into the next side, sweet Jesus. And one, two, 
three, four, five, tummy tight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Mm. Touch and go. That's what we're doing. Feet together. And one, two, three, four. Tommy tie. Five, six. I don't leave the floor by much. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mmm, fire on the thighs. Oh gosh. Sip your water. Towel your face. Control the breathing. Mm. Mercy. You know, a common thing that happens to a lot of women who are in perimenopause, going through menopause. Hell, for any woman who goes through the hormonal changes with her menstrual cycle, the PMSing, they, we have such a hard time with our emotions. The chemical imbalance makes some people moody. An average person can live with that. But for those of us who the hormones almost make us feel like we're going temporarily crazy. Yeah, it, it affects us where we teeter the line that you feel that there's mental illness involved when really and truly it's a hormonal shift that has the side effects of erratic behavior, wild mood swings, depression, but they only last during the time that the hormones are really trying to regulate. And it's hard, it's hard. Like this week I'm having my period and my emotions, I feel like I'm hanging on by a thread. But I still show up for you. I'm still here to give the exercise, to record my videos, because I'm doing it for you, yes, but I'm also doing it for myself because exercise helps me to level out my emotions a little better. When I feel like I'm going crazy and I could murder somebody or I could curl up in a ball and just cry myself to sleep, when I exercise on those days, it doesn't fix me, don't get me wrong, but it makes me feel a little bit more sane. So if you are struggling with these unusual emotional shifts, just know you're not alone. We're in it together. A gazillion, million, billion, trillion of women <laughs> are going through a very similar experience. Always remember that. So yeah, that long speech was just to give you a little break. We're moving on. So, say thank you, Shani. Yes? <laughs> We're moving on, supersetting two exercises. Still doing three rounds, but supersetting two exercises. So we're gonna slow it down, but the burn is gonna be real. Now, I can't work on glutes alone without complementing quads to kind of accentuate. So we work front and back, yin and yang. So although we're targeting and really thinking about our glutes today, I'm still working the entire leg, okay? It's all connected. Now, I'm using my, my handy bench here, and this one will be dread, I will not lie. You can do it with weights, you can do it without. You can actually do it without the bench if you're not comfortable yet with the, the height or you have issues with your knees and ankles and you want to stay more stable. So you're going to go from a split lunge to a staggered, okay? 
So with one foot towards the back, and I keep my heel high, one foot towards the front, I'm going to go up and over. Over, I touch down, but I don't drop my heel. Bring it back. Over, bring it back. I want you to think of staying hinged forward. This gives us a lot of work on the quads, but by hinging forward, you're gonna feel the work in the glutes. So remember, you can do it without any weights, or we can grab weights. So I'm gonna grab weights. God help me, these are 15 pounds. And I'm going to attempt going over six per leg. That's the number we're aiming for. We're going controlled, okay? Tummy nice and tight. I'm keeping the weights by my hips, slightly hinging forward, and my back heel stays elevated. Ready? Press through your front heel. Here we go, and one, over, two, find a focal point, three, tummy tight, four, Five, six. Oh, sweet Lord. We have the other leg to do. I'll just straddle it. So I have my left foot flat planted on the bench. Right heel lifted, slightly hinge forward. And one, over, two, over. Keep your focal point. Three, four, press through the front heel. Five, one more, six. Oh yeah, those are nice. So now we're gonna go into a Bulgarian split lunge. <laughs> this one is good. This one is hard. And nobody really loves a Bulgarian split lunge. Let me just push this bench back a bit. Now, with a Bulgarian split lunge, we have one elevated foot. A good way to figure out your distance, if you're sitting on the bench and just extend one leg, a lot of people struggle with how far their foot should be. Roll onto that foot and place your foot. Now, there are two foot positions for a Bulgarian split lunge. I prefer this one because it bothers my ankle when I point my foot and rest the arch of my foot on the bench. But this is a more popular foot position for a Bulgarian split lunge. Now, a Bulgarian split lunge works quads and hams or glutes, depending on how upright you stay or how hinged you are and pushing back. So because we're working predominantly glutes today, I really want you guys hinged, taking it down as low as you can go and lifting. We're not gonna lift fully. So don't try and come to a complete stand. You wanna stay still pushed back, watching your front knee over your ankle, but you wanna keep the tension on the glutes. So we're gonna take it down and lift, down and lift. Now, if you're like me, and you prefer your foot here, same concept. Down and lift, down and lift. Step together for the next side. So once again, it's optional. If you're not ready for a Bulgarian split lunge today, that's okay. You're gonna do your lunge on the floor. But keep the hinging. So if you're on the floor, take it here and lift. Do not stand fully, because I want you to keep the tension on the glutes. But always watch your front knee, all right? Grab your weights. So we did six of the up and overs. So now I want eight Bulgarian. So remember my little tip to you for measurements. Sit, extend one leg, tummy tight, Step forward. So for the sake of the video, I'll match you guys, oops, I'll match you guys with the pointed toe foot position. Ready? Chest broad, hinge, driving my butt back. And 
one, half lift, stay focused, two, press through the right heel, three, think of the muscle that you're working, four, mind to muscle connection, five, breathe, six, seven, oh, this is so hard, and eight, step together, my ass is burning, Oh, it really is. I'm gonna put back the other foot. <sighs> Trusting that the bench is still where I left it. <laughs> Here we go, tummy tight. Hinge forward, drive your butt back. One, press through the front heel. Two, mind to muscle connection. Three, tummy nice and tight. Four, keeping your knee over your ankle. Five, six, oh yeah, seven, last one, eight, oh, mercy. Mm-hmm, trust me, I feel those. Wow, 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 that's all I can say. Slow the heart rate. We're going again with the up and overs. We have two more rounds. <sighs> Building muscle, doing weight training, not only gives you a sexier physique, it not only gives you defined muscles, it not only helps you to lose weight, reduce size, it also helps with your bone density. So I keep telling women, as we, we age and as we progress over 30, over 40, over 50, our bone density naturally diminishes. And you have to, to fight with your nutrition, with your exercise, and with weight training to improve your bone density. Yeah, osteoporosis is a real thing. It happens to many of us. But you can play your role in ensuring it either doesn't happen to you or you slow down the progression of it. It's all about lifestyle changes, people. Lifestyle changes. Lift the back heel, tummy tight. We're only going for six. Ready, up and over. One, over. Two, keep a focal point. Three, tighten your tummy for balance. Four, Press through that front heel. Five, my back heel doesn't touch the floor. And six, over. Whew. Here we go. Short and sweet. Yeah, not everything has to be long and lengthy. I like the quickies sometimes, guys. Whew. I'm talking about exercise. Get in my note to go to. Or am I? Here we go in three, two, one, one, over, two, over, three, mm. four, five, come on, one more, six, over, oh yeah, the butt is feeling it, the legs are feeling it. Bulgarian split lunge. Tommy's women nice and tight. Mind to muscle connection. Think about the muscle you're working. Mm. Just remember what I said. And for the love of God, before you sit down, look behind you and make sure the bench, chair, ottoman, hassock, whatever it is you're using, is still there. <laughs> I've landed on my ass before. Trust me. Right leg out. Stand. Good. Slight hinging. Take it down. One. Two. Let me go forward a little bit. Yeah, three. 
that's better. Four, tummy tight. Five, press through that front heel. Six, slow and steady. Seven, and eight. Step together. Reach back. Okay. Steady yourself before you start. Find your balance. No, we don't find balance. We create balance. That's right. And one. Stay hinged. Two. Think about the glute. Three. Four. Find your focal point. Five. Six. I'm trembling. Seven and eight. Oh, merciful Father. Oi, oi, oi. What a break. <laughs> for me, maybe not for you. I know I need it. Let me slow down my heart rate before I drink the water. And the water go down the wrong pipe. What oh, that happened to me yesterday? Could I stop coughing? It's all about a mindset, you know, guys. We all need to stop wishing for something and hoping for something. Things don't happen just because you want it, you wish it, you will it. If that's how it went, everybody would have everything they want and they would not appreciate what they have. You see, when you have to work ras hard for something, you've had to fight for something tooth and nail. You've had to commit to something. You've had to sacrifice. Sacrifice the instant gratification and the quick pleasures and the Sometimes sacrificing even friendships, because let's, let's be real. If you're trying to change your life, and you're trying to, let's say, cut out alcohol out of your life, or cut back on your alcohol intake, but a group of friends you had were heavy drinkers. They're forever living at a wine bar, drinking every night, or at least four nights for the week, and every socializing with them was always around alcohol. You're gonna to have to lessen your interaction with that friend group. You may have to cut them out completely because they're not gonna be aligned with your new stage of life, with your goals. So when you work hard for something and certain things had to be cut from your life, you value it a lot more, believe me. Things come easy, they go as easily. When things come hard, you know the value of it. You know how hard you had to work for it. You won't make it slip away as easily as you did before. I'm just saying. So, we are putting the hard work in. That's the bottom line. We are putting the hard work in because we know the value. We know the value. Oh, God. And sometimes all my bullshit talks might just be to motivate myself. It's one of those days. It's one of those days that I need self-motivation. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go, my talking is taking up the time. Tummy tight. This is the last of this one. Up and over. Ready? Only six. And one. Tap. Two, belly button to spine. Tap. Three. Tap. Four. Tap. Five. Tap, last one, six, tap, straight into the next leg. Here we go, one, tap, stay hinged, two, tap, tummy tight, three, tap, four, tap, five, last one, six, Oh yeah. Last Bulgarian split lunge. Oh, these take a lot out of me. I feel these. 
Control the breathing. <clears throat> Let me sit near the edge. So remember, extend one leg. Step out. Place the foot back. And one. Two. Readjust yourself if you have to. Three. To make sure your body feels comfortable. Four. Five. Tummy tight. Six. Remember, don't come to a complete stand. Seven. Keep your tension on the glute. And eight. Other leg. One. Two. Stay hinged. Three, mind to muscle connection. Four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight. My word. <laughs> you feel those? I certainly feel it. I believe that's three rounds of the first superset. We got one more superset to go. And people think you need straight cardio to get your heart rate up. My heart is beating in my throat right now. Oh yeah. What a break. So we're going to be moving on to a new set of exercises, super setting, but I don't need my bench. So I'm just going to move that puppy out of the way. So you're going to get your mat for me. My mat is right here. Roll it out. So my first exercise is gonna be good mornings, but I'm gonna hold weights. You don't have to if you don't need to. If you feel like you're gonna get a good stretch without it, you're gonna keep your elbows up and you're going to flat back and lift it. I'm gonna put weights on my shoulders and I'm just gonna hold the weights here I'm going to hinge and I'm going to lift, working the back of my legs where my hamstrings connect to my glutes. So I'm going to use 12 pounds for this. Tummy's nice and tight. I'm going to keep my elbows open. I'm going to hinge and stand with soft knees. My legs are straight, but my knees are soft, never lock out. We're going for 15, and one, and stand. Two, drive your butt back. Three, yes, my shoulders are hinging forward. Four, but my focus is on the push back of my glutes. Five, six, oh yeah, feel this, seven, Keep your core tight. Eight. Nine. Don't pass flat back. 10. Keep your elbows open. Five more. Eyes straight to the floor. Four more. If you have a bar, you could do this with a bar across your shoulders. Three more. But I work with what I have. Two more. Ooh, yo, yo, and one. Oh, those felt real good. Weights down. Now I'm gonna get my 15 pound weights. I'm gonna take it on my knees. All the way down. I'm gonna bring my 15 pound weights over my shoulders, elbows in. 
stay hinged slightly, tummy tight. I am going to drive, slow sit, push, slow sit. So this is going to be work with your knees, yes. I don't want you to endure any discomfort in your knees. So if this is too much for you, you're going to give me this version standing where you're simply going to squat down and as you stand, you press the weight straight to the ceiling. If your mat is thin and you're doing it on your knees, double the mat to give your knees extra padding. I stay slightly hinged over, which is now going to wake up my core and really activate the glutes. Yes, my shoulders are working too. You all know I love to work shoulders. <laughs> so I throw them in whenever I can. Tummy nice and tight. Hinge slightly forward. Squeeze your thighs together and one, slow sit. Quick push, slow sit. Three, slow sit. Four, slow, keep your tummy tight. Five, slow sit. Six, seven, tummy tight, come on. Eight, push your butt back. Nine, push your butt back. Ten, five. Oh, I didn't tell you 15. Four, my bad. Three, I was focusing. Two, and one. Oh, oh yeah. That's nice. That's nice. So we're supersetting two exercises, back to back to back. So let's just leave the weights in front. I'm gonna get my lighter weights because trust me, I don't need 15s for this one. I open my feet wide, weights on. We're going for it, tummy tight. And one, squeeze, two, three, breathe, four, we're almost there guys, five, just stick with me, six, seven, if you ever see the sweat just dripping off of me, eight, Belly button to spine. Nine. Flat back. Ten. Five more. Mm. Four more. Three more. Keep the elbows open. Two more. Ah. One more. Oh, yeah. Lovely. talked a lot this this workout session no more talking straight into it hands up tummy tight hinge forward slightly and one two three four five Elbows forward, six, sit back, seven, eight, nine, ten. This works even the muscles in your back. Five more, four, three, two, one, mercy. I could have called Cree, but I'm not, because I have one more round. And if it doesn't challenge us, exactly, it'll never change us. So I'm challenging myself. I'm tired as hell, but I'm not quitting. Mm. 
Open. Here we go. One, flat back. Two, focus on the push back. Three, belly button to spine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more to go. Four, dig deep, guys. Three. And last one. Last one. We're right there. Take it down. If you ever hear my mat, it's going squish up, squish up, squish up. That's how much sweat is on it. Mm. All right. This is the finisher. 15 reps, we got this, guys. Elbows in, weights up, tummy tight, hinge forward, and one, two, hinge, three, hinge, four, Five, six, come on, keep that belly button in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, we have five more. Four more. Uh, three, come on. Two, and Sweet Jesus, we did it. Holy moly, we survived. Mm-hmm. All right. I know, we barely survived. I get it, I get it, I'm with you. Let's stretch out the back of the legs. Hands up, up and over. Mm. Reach for the outer part of your feet, ankles, or shin. Scoop your tummy in, broaden your chest. Fold forward, elbows to the floor. Again, hands up, up and over, hinging from the hips. Grab the feet, scoop your tummy in. Try and get your tummy off your thighs, try. Broaden your chest and fold forward. And up. All right, lift your right leg. Place it over your left. If you can, bend the left leg. Good. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to twist and look over the right shoulder, bringing this knee inward. Mm hmm. Yeah, today went a little bit longer than planned, but sometimes that happens. We can't rush greatness, now can we? Bend the foot. <laughs> Have I excuse for everything? Sit up nice and tall. Tucking any fat that was rolling out. Twist. We all got it. <sighs> Look over your left shoulder. And also, guys, try and remember, when we sit, I was just having this conversation yesterday with somebody. We all have skin, we have excess skin. Skin is there for us to stretch and move. So when you sit, you will have rolls. It's natural. Because if you didn't have rolls, when you stood up, you wouldn't be able to stand straight because you would have had no skin to assist with that stretch. So calm down, people, calm down. Excess skin, rolls, it's not that big a deal. Heels into groin. <sighs> Lean forward. We did really good today, guys. The art of showing up. That's what you did. When you press play on my video, 
you showed up. And that's all I can ask you for. I want you to turn the right leg behind you once it doesn't bother your knee. If you can, extend the left leg in front, but recline so you can feel the stretch in the quads. Mm -hmm. Other side. So you can start by bending both. When you're in that comfortable position, tuck your tailbone on and extend the right leg in front and recline. You go back as far as you can go. Nobody in no competition. Some people can take it to the elbows. Some people can lie flat back. Keep your knee down. Feel the stretch in the quad. <sighs> Tummy nice and tight. And release. You survived, guys. We made it. I am so proud of you. Just remember, always keep showing up for you, for nobody else. Don't take on nobody else's stress. You, one, have to walk and navigate this life, and you need to feel good about yourself. You know, when you're on that plane and the oxygen masks drop down, you're never supposed to put on the oxygen mask first on your kids, on your husband, on your mother-in-law. No, you first put on your own oxygen mask because only then can you save anybody else. The art of showing up is for you. Put you first. Until the next session, guys. See you soon.